the RTX 5000 series is being leaked already, and more information on Lovelace. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Fast Alerts. Are you looking for a new graphics card or console? Well, I've got great news for you because Fast Alerts is here to help gamers purchase hard to find items at a reasonable price. Fast Alerts is a free service that sends notifications to users for in demand items like the RTX 30 series at lightning speed as soon as they come in stock 24 7 at stores like Amazon, Best Buy, and many more. They've helped thousands finally make the upgrade, plus, unlike any other services, Fast Alerts is dedicated to stopping scalpers and has banned over 150,000 accounts. So, if you want to have a better chance at landing that new graphics card or console, be sure to click the Discord link in the description below. Alright, so we got a lot of information to go over in today's video, so let's go ahead and get right into it. And starting off, let's first talk about what could be the RTX 5000 series, as well as some other leaked information about upcoming NVIDIA GPUs. Now, this information does come from the website videocards.com, and apparently they were able to get it sent to them off of some of the information that was potentially leaked online as part of that data leak. Now, I don't think that Video Cards actually downloaded it, so don't worry, they're not doing anything illegal, but they did share some images, and apparently, yeah, this is uh, consisting of some upcoming GPUs that are looking very, very interesting. And taking a look at this first image here, we can see what does indeed appear to be three different architectures, first starting off with what appears to be Ada Lovelace, then Hopper, and then Blackwell, and in fact, I have indeed heard of all three of these architectures before. Now, what we do know is that Ada Lovelace is likely going to consist of the RTX 4000 series, and is going to be the next generation coming to gamers. So yeah, that does look pretty legitimate to me. And then the next one, Hopper, has been alluded to many times in the past from previous leakers such as Cop 7 Kimi and many others, and this is likely going to be their data center solution. But it looks like we're going to have yet another architecture that many people have not heard of yet, and that's Blackwell. Now, this has actually been talked about by Cop 7 Kimi in the past as well, who, if you don't know, is someone who's leaked a lot of actually very accurate information about upcoming NVIDIA products on Twitter in the past so if you haven't given him a follow I do suggest you go ahead and do so as he does tend to leak a lot of really interesting stuff and what Blackwell is is well it kind of looks like it could be data center but it could also potentially be what is going to be the RTX 5000 series as well we just don't know 100% at this point in time however if we go ahead and we scroll down and take a look at the third image we get a lot more information about these upcoming GPUs and actually list quite a few here we can see that it says GH100 GB100 GB102 and GH202. So this is actually some pretty interesting information here because if you guys don't know, typically NVIDIA likes to name their 100 series GPUs as kind of their data center solutions, whereas the 102 is going to be the top end flagship GPU you might be seeing on something in a gaming card. So seeing GB102 does actually potentially allude to, yes, there could be an actual gaming card based on the Blackwell series uh, that is going to be coming out at some point in the future, at least according to these leaks. So yeah, the RTX 5 thousand series could potentially be based off of the Blackwell architecture but once again we'll just have to wait and see as more information leaks out about this stuff we really don't know a whole lot about the amount of performance we'd be seeing out of something like this I imagine it's gonna be a pretty massive leap once again at that point in time I honestly wouldn't be too surprised if we're talking about a MCM type of GPU much like AMD is gonna be doing with their RX 7000 series GPUs that should be coming near the end of this year or at the very latest the beginning of next year so I do expect that Nvidia is going to be following up with an RTX 5000 series as quick as they can and moving to MCM as well so they can go ahead and get those power numbers a little bit more under control but we do actually have one more slide to take a look at here one more leaked image and what we can see here is that there's a bunch of information about the upcoming Ada Lovelace GPUs and it actually goes ahead and lists basically every single GPU that's going to come out and honestly these naming schemes don't surprise me too much as this is what we typically see every single generation but let's go ahead and take a look at it anyway so they have listed here a 8102 and 8103 and 8104 4, 8106, 8107, and an 8010B. Now, as far as I'm aware, 8010B is going to be kind of uh, more like a mobile solution or ARM solution type of deal, but the rest of these are typical type of GPU names that you would see every single generation. If you don't know, 8102, a 102 typically is going to have their highest end GPUs like a 90 or an 80 Ti or something like that, and then going down the stack, you know, 8103 could be like a, a RTX 4080 or potentially some sort of mobile option, or maybe even the RTX 4080 will be on the 104 die this time, although 104 typically consists of stuff like a 70 class GPU or maybe even a 60 Ti and then I think you get the picture as you continue to go up in number going to like 106, 107, the actual GPUs are going to continue to get smaller and smaller. So there you go, we have a bunch of more information about Lovelace but speaking of Lovelace, we have even more information to talk about and honestly guys I think this is some pretty exciting stuff because I do believe it actually does back 
backed up a lot of the stuff than I went over last week when I talked about the complete specs as well as pricing that I expected to see out of the entire Lovelace series of GPUs. So taking a look here, this information does come from the leaker copied 7 Kimi over on Twitter, but let's go ahead and take a look what he had to say and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So according to him, he says, quote, the early configs are 144, 96, 48, and 32 SMs. You should dig some news from these leaking files. Now, this tweet was actually in response to another tweet by LaFree David asking Ada configuration. So yes, that is actually Ada Lovelace that he's talking about. So this is the configuration that we're likely going to see out of the 8102 all the way down to the 8107 in terms of how many SMs they're going to have. Now, if you don't know, SMs stand for streaming multiprocessors. And with the NVIDIA's current architecture, you take the amount of SMs times 128. And that's how many FP32 units that you are going to have on the GPU. And the amount of FP32 units are very, very important because those are what do the traditional rasterizing type of performance. So the more FP32s you have, the more performance you're going to be seeing out of these GPUs. So if you do the math, the top end GPU that's likely going to be the 8102 is going to have 144 SMs times 128. That means over 18,000 CUDA cores. And guys, that is a ton of CUDA cores to see on just one GPU. In fact, uh, the RTX 4090, if this does turn out to be true, could have about 75% more CUDA cores than what you currently see on the RTX 3090. And we also have to keep in mind that clock speeds as well as IPC are likely going to be going up. And there's probably also going to be an increase in the amount of cash as well. So yeah, these GPUs are going to be absolutely wildly fast. In fact, there's been some talk from people like Red Gaming Tech to potentially like two times as powerful or even more than two times as powerful than the RTX 3090 when compared to the RTX 4090. And I know a lot of people are going to be probably a little bit more interested in something like the RTX 4080. And if you want an idea of how fast the RTX 4080 is going to be, honestly, depending on whether it's going to be produced on the 104 or the 102 die next time, it could be anywhere from like 60% faster to upwards of like 80% faster than something like the RTX 3090. So it's really going to depend on whether or not Nvidia decides to cut down something like the RTX 4090 on the 102 die and turn it into an RTX 4080, or if they go ahead and just decide to use the full 104 die and create the RTX 4080 that way. I mean, either way, it's going to be really, really powerful, but depending on which way they go, it's either going to be really powerful or really, really, really powerful. But you know, again, either way, this next generation of cards is going to be absolutely unbelievable. I cannot wait to get my hands on them. And if you don't know, they should be launching uh, sometime near the end of this year. I, honestly, I'm actually expecting them to start to be announced in September. So we're actually not too far away from these things actually being able to be purchased. But again, it's looking really, really good. But hey, that's just what I think. How fast do you think the RTX 4080 is really going to be? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.